Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 7th, okay? Now keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. First card out is the star card reversed. It fell out of the deck as I was shuffling. So the star card reversed is depression, it's no faith, it's a loss of will, um, feeling hopeless, depleted. There could be a lack of spirituality here. This is like feeling, it's a feeling of hopelessness, okay? This is where uh, fear takes over, perhaps. Mm hmm. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Now, the Queen of Pentacles reverse is not taking care of business. So somebody may not be taking care of business. Um, there's some sort of insecurity here or instability here. A lack of faith. Not putting in much effort. This is the, the Queen of Pentacles in the past, though. So somebody hasn't been putting in effort. They may have lost their glow or lost their shine. Um... Queen of Pentacles, reverse, unstable, insecure, not putting in much effort, laziness. Jealousy, stubborn. Uh, six of Cups in the future. So Six of Cups is memories. A lot of memories, uh, reminiscing, nostalgia. Thinking thinking about the past we have somebody here that may be unstable you know they're thinking about the past they may be feeling hopeless because of they're thinking a lot about the memories of the past Harrow font reverse so there is something to do with faith no faith uh, disbelief we have somebody here that may not be believing in themselves they've They've gotten some sort of, there's like a lot of doubt here with the star card reversed, feeling hopeless, lack of faith, doesn't trust, doesn't believe. Uh, we have somebody here that's not very grounded at this moment. You know, this is a daily reading, so we may have somebody here that is feeling down with the star card reversed. They're, they're losing their faith. Maybe they're losing their faith in humanity because the star card is a card of humanity. The hero font reversed is, um, it's kind of like an abuse of power, right? It's poor counsel. It's having a hard time doing the right thing due to society. There's social pressure here. We have somebody here that is under social pressure, a lot of social pressure. They may be in a relationship that is no longer on the same page or there's something unconventional here. There's also poor counsel, receive some sort of poor advice. Maybe from somebody from their past, it could be a family member or something like that. We may have somebody here that is like, this is, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this, so I'm not sure what this is. You know, I didn't ask for this. Temperance reversed. Temperance reversed is very, very moody, frustrated. So definitely it feels like it's going to be a moody day. It's going to be a frustrating day. Hopeless, doubtful. You know, we all have bad days. There's definitely some sort of uh, imbalance here. Something is off. A feeling of something is off. This isn't what I asked for. I mean, temperance reverse. This is like a re-examining, a need to re-examine. Somebody may be going overboard. You know, they're going overboard. This is not really mastering emotions. There's some sort of inner disharmony, you know. There could even be some inappropriate behavior here. Somebody may be in a, acting inappropriately. There's a, there's a lack of, of 
spirituality as well with these cards reversed. We have somebody here that is really not focusing on the higher path. It's like they're reverting back to their negative patterns, their negative traits. reverse that's impatient moody frustrated we may even have somebody here that is feeling ashamed you know with the star card reversed memories of the past are coming up there's a lot of I feel like there's some self-loathing here okay with the Queen of Pentacles reversed as well that's unstable insecure a lot of reminiscing about a previous relationship or a previous commitment, you know, because the Hierophant is all about commitment, but it's in reversed. Something doesn't feel right with the with the temperance reversed. It doesn't feel right. Something is off. So there's there's frustrations, there's moodiness, there's Losing hope, a lack of hope, feeling doubtful. Ace of Cups reversed. Drowning in emotions. Okay, emotions all over the place. Definitely feeling sad. Um, memories, a lot of reminiscing because the Six of Cups is upright. A lot of reminiscing about the past, about a previous commitment or something like that. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is in the past. We have somebody here that is, has no faith. They have no faith. There's no faith with the star card reverse and the Hierophant reverse. That's no faith, no trust. Maybe no faith in love because the Ace of Cups in, is in reverse. Maybe no faith in commitment. There's some sort of, um, emotions unable to master or manage emotions so there could be some tears I'm just being honest this is like can't can't master emotions temperance reverse ace of cups avert reverse it's like a lot of reminiscing and it's very emotional and ungrounded so yes this is like really emotional feeling emotional Ten of Cups reverse. This is this is definitely not happy. I wonder if a relationship has ha has ended and, we're, and somebody is having a hard time dealing with it. You know, the Ten of Cups reverse. This is not definitely not what I asked for. It's mirroring the Star reverse. It's like this is not happiness. This is this is not um, what I asked for. This is like a dying dream. It is the Ten of Cups reverse, Temperance reverse. It's like, I don't know if there's even a rejection here. There could be an, a, re a rejection. We may have somebody that is letting something go with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that doesn't want it, that isn't interested. And it could be really, really, really emotional. We may have somebody here that isn't healed. Temperance reverse, star reverse. The star and temperance are both healing energies. They're both reversed. Maybe they're not healed from something in the past, from a rejection in the past. You know, they're fearful of commitment. They don't want commitment. Ten of Cups reverse is a dying dream. It's, it's relationship problems or commitment problems. Not ready. Temperance reverse, not ready. Ace of Cups reverse. That sadness, emotionally unavailable. It's emotional shutdown, you know, um, or drowning in emotions. Emotions all over the place with Temperance reversed. That's like 
emotional upheaval. I do feel like there is definitely going to it's going to be an emotional day. Has something to do with a past commitment that, you know, didn't turn out to be wish fulfillment and there's a lack of inner healing. That's what it looks like to me. I don't feel like the healing, you know, has reached its peak, okay? I don't feel like it has. Ace of Cups reverse, that's like a not able to offer any love. Three of Pentacles reverse. That is no teamwork, no togetherness, no communication, um, not working out, not putting in effort, not wanting to put in effort. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, just isn't on the same page, especially with Temperance reverse. It's like there's. There's no, not seeing eye to eye. We have a relationship where, where people aren't seeing eye to eye. Judgment in the future. This is making a decision. You know, be, revealing the truth. This is an awakening, making a life-changing decision. This is the end of things. It's the end of something. Somebody is making a decision to end something because they don't want to be committed to it. They don't want to they don't want to work together. They they're not in it emotionally. They're not they don't want to invest emotionally into the situation. So somebody is making a decision to not put in effort into something that they're not ready for it's like no I'm, I'm not ready I'm not ready um, this isn't this isn't what I asked for this isn't my dream come true there's this is definitely not something I'm looking for and I feel like this is a definite decision that is being made it's like there was some sort of choice there was some sort of indis in or yeah indecisiveness but now it's like the threes are a decision has been made this is Yes, I've made my decision. I'm, I'm moving forward now. I'm focusing on the future. You know, the future looks bright. I think we have somebody here that is focusing on the future. They're turning their back on something that, that you know, they were given an option and they've made their decision to focus on something else. There could also be a relocation in the future. I feel like we have somebody here that is not looking back. They have big plans for the future. And by getting themselves committed to this situation, what would, would alter their plans for the future? Ten of Cups reverse is like not looking for a relationship right now or not you know or giving up a relationship there could definitely be a rejection here there definitely could be somebody may be you know deciding not to communicate or collaborate or get together with somebody because they're not healed from something i think i already said that they're not complete they're not ready they're not ready so they're ending something i feel like they're ending um a collaboration you know or they're ending something with somebody that they were working with they're deciding you know this is a decision that is definitely being made to uh, leave something behind somebody may be traveling they may be moving maybe that's in the plan we may have somebody here that is making plans to move to a different place you know so they're not gonna get in a commitment with anybody right now the hero font reversed is um, not committing. It's really not. And I feel like we have somebody here that just, you know, they're not ready to give any type of stability 
or anything solid to somebody because they their emotions are all over the place right now they're just not grounded they're not ready to set roots either you know this isn't yeah A star card reversed is, no, this isn't what I asked for. It's, it isn't. It isn't. I feel like we have somebody here that has received an offer that they're just not ready for, honestly. Making a judgment call. Four of Cups reversed. That is letting go of regret, uh, choosing another option. We have somebody here that is choosing another option. That's what this is. It's like they're ready to, they're looking forward. They're looking forward to the future. I feel like we have somebody here that has been grieving. You know, they've been grieving over a loss. They've been um, healing, but they aren't quite, quite healed yet. This is taking a new opportunity as well. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to focus on their future. The fu they got big plans for the future. And, and I feel like what they're doing is they're choosing to let go of something that does it align with them with the temperance reverse that's the lack of alignment it doesn't bring harmony to their lives it's like no this isn't what i asked for and i feel like we have somebody here that is choosing to um i want to say waiting stop waiting i'm going to stop waiting i'm going to focus on my future i'm going to focus on self-love as well because I feel like that, I want, the minute that Four of Cups came out, it's like I felt self-love, focusing on self, self-love, not going to engage, temperance reverse, that's not engaging, it's not giving, it's, it's healing, profound self-healing is needed. And we have somebody here that is unstable. And I feel like it's like the, the, the judgment card is an awakening, okay? It's a wake-up call. It's like getting some sort of epiphany, you know? Ten of Wands reversed. The Ten of Wands reversed is making a conscious change. You know, headed down a path. It's like letting everything go. Letting something go that has been weighing you down. It's dropping weight, dropping a burden, dropping something. It's letting something go. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is letting something go. They are making a decision to let something go that has been weighing them down. Maybe they're going to focus on their weight, you know, because the Ten of, the Ten of Wands is a heavy weight. You know, this is making a decision to, and I feel like we have somebody here that hasn't been putting in much effort. Three of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that hasn't been putting in much effort. Maybe they didn't love themselves. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that has been carrying some baggage that they need to release before they can get themselves into a commitment. And I feel like this is making a decision to, uh, I feel like it's focus on self and I don't even have the nine of pentacles here I just feel like that is the energy that I have this is freeing you know the ten of wands reverse is freedom it's freeing it's freeing somebody it's like or freeing yourself from something it's like no I can't this is I can't do this anymore I don't want to do this anymore it's breaking free breaking free from some sort of situation where there's no I don't know if there's no communication or there's no love or there's no teamwork. You know, there's too much chaos, too much back and forth. There's Somebody may also be dealing with an individual that isn't giving them anything. 
you know, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she's not giving. She's stubborn. She may be money hungry. She's jealous. She's possessive. You know, um, somebody in here may even have some addictions that they need to manage. You know, there's definitely addictions that need to be managed. So this is about a managing addictions, managing feelings, uh, taking a time out to heal. But we have somebody here that, you know, really has a lot of memories, you know, uh, and, and reminiscing of the past that they need to release, they need to heal. Somebody really needs to heal. I do see that. Making a decision to let go, to drop something, and focus on, I feel like it's self-love, or take another opportunity. There is somebody here that is, is deciding to take another opportunity. They've been weighed down. They have been. They've been weighed down by something. This is letting go. Letting go of something that doesn't serve them anymore. This isn't what I asked for. It's like, and it's in the and the the judgment card is a realization, right? This is like an epiphany that doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve me. That is a realization. It is realizing the truth. So somebody is realizing the truth, and underneath it is the ten of wands. That's letting go. It is. It's letting go of something. It's making a conscious change to let something go. And then the Four of Cups reverse is right next to it. It's like the end of stagnation. It's the end of ignoring. It's grabbing on to an opportunity. But in this case, I feel like it's self-love. It could be another opportunity for love, though, with the Four of Cups reverse. It's letting go of something that has been holding you down and grabbing another opportunity that, you know, is going to bring emotional fulfillment. It's letting go of regrets. It's letting go of emptiness. It's, it's really is. It's like, I'm just letting this all go. I'm going to focus on love by the looks of things because of that four of cups reverse. And I see focusing on the future with the three of wands. That's like, I got big plans for the future and I'm going to I'm going to do whatever I got to do. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to be successful. So this is like a re I feel like it's like a um a realization a realization of the truth. It's like an epiphany. It's like a wake up call. This isn't working out. This isn't what I asked for. This isn't what I want taking a new opportunity, letting go. Seven of Pentacles is about investment. This is somebody that has been thinking, is it worth it? Should I keep investing here? It appears that it's time to plant those seeds someplace else. Maybe there's relocation here. Somebody may be planning to relocate. You know, maybe it's, it's, it's thinking, you know, should I relocate? What should I do? Somebody may be putting their plans in action. So maybe it's just not practical to uh, get together with anybody else right now. I do believe that we have somebody here that is thinking if it's worth investing someplace else or if they should keep investing where they are. I feel like a definite decision is being made and somebody is going to be going someplace else. It's like, this isn't what I asked for. This isn't bringing me wish fulfillment. This isn't bringing me happiness. 
perhaps it's time to go. This is making a life-changing decision to focus on something else. So I do believe that there is a big, big decision that is being made. Somebody's going to be investing in something else. They are. They are. I feel like the time is up. The time is up, okay? There's no get there's no uh it's not working out three of pentacles reverse this isn't working out i don't love it so that's what i got good luck